Okay, hey there, welcome to week two, part three, your final assignment. So when you're looking at this, this is your written response and we're going to use Turnitin. Same thing as we did last term. I recommend doing it in Google Docs, using Grammarly, and then uh, submitting it to Turnitin. You'll have retakes, look at the grammar checker and the um, content checker to see if you're using citations properly. But let's go ahead and just look over it. Uh, optional resources are in the week two optional resources page. You've already known that from the last two assignments. The task, you're going to look at act uh, one, scene seven again. If you don't remember that, that's totally fine. I have the file right here to help you. And we'll even look at like the line numbers together, which are also displayed. But what you're going to do in this response is compare and contrast the motivation of Macbeth and Lady Macbeth. How are they similar? How are they different? And who do you uh, empathize with more? Who do you feel more sorry, sorry for? Who do you think is in control? That's all we're going to talk about. So the first step is going over this and find evidence that's comparing and contrasting Lady Macbeth's attitude and Macbeth. Yeah, and we'll go from there. Step two, it's a three paragraph response. So number one, you're gonna look at lines one through 28 again. And what does that reveal about Macbeth and his reasons of what he wants to go ahead, like of why and why not he wants to go ahead with the plan. The plan we'll discuss in you know the week two uh, part two meeting, but I'm not gonna spoil anything away. That's our plan right here. What does he ultimately choose to do? And use evidence to support this in MLA format. Again, if you look at week two in the MLA resources page, we've already discussed how to cite Shakespeare. Paragraph two, you're going to do a similar thing, but with Lady Macbeth. You're going to see and reveal about what her character is, what is her demeanor, and what is her res uh, response to Macbeth's decision that he said in lines 1 through uh, 28. But here you're going to look at 47 through 59 as your evidence. Same thing, make sure you have uh, supporting evidence there in proper Emily format. Finally, so you identify, you know, one reaction of Macbeth, then you look at Lady Macbeth. Final paragraph, you're going to compare and contrast the differences between Macbeth and Lady Macbeth. Who has more redeeming values or qualities? Who is more in charge? If we're thinking of a relationship, it's never a 50-50 split. Who do you think has more control or power? Who do you uh, empathize with more? Who do you understand more? Why? That's our response there. And again, same thing, use a Google Doc, submit it into turn it in, and we'll go from there. Um, I'll have the rubric um, also supplied inside the turn it in segment, so you can see how I'm going to grade it. It's gonna be similar to an essay response that we had last term, but we'll adapt it and change it from there. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and I will see you in the meetings.